there welcome back to my channel my name is Weez and this is Weez's lifestyle thank you for joining me so today's video is about the soursop uh, Anona muricata this is a fruit that's grown in the uh, South Americas uh, and the Caribbean they have different names for it uh, Anona muricata is its scientific name soursop is the common name that people use and also lots of other names, Graviola, Guanabana, Guyanabana, so many names that it goes under. Now, I got hold of a fruit back in 2021. I ordered it online. It's not a fruit that you commonly find in, well, I've yet to see one in all the times I visit Asian grocers looking at, you know, tropical fruit. I've never seen one in the shops. I know people who are traveling to the Caribbean or holidaying there have brought the fruits back and used the seeds and they've managed to grow it but I had to order mine online it was quite expensive so I managed to sow some seeds and it, they took forever to germinate I first of all I planted some um, back in 2021 soon after I'd got them out of the fruit and they did germinate but then they stopped you know the, the little root came out and nothing else happened so I had to re-sow and I had tons of these seeds there were so many seeds in this fruit it was unbelievable and I did give some away and I'll talk about that in a minute um, so the seeds eventually did germinate back in 2022 some months and months later um, they germinated so I'll show you the seeds in a minute I've still got some left and um, yeah, they took a long time to germinate and then eventually I managed to get four plants. Um, more popped up, quite a few popped up, but they had the seed cap where the, the seed doesn't let go of the top of the plant, you know, which should normally fall off. These didn't fall off and so a lot came up like that. And so I, I couldn't, you know, they didn't progress. But these four are the ones that survived. And I kept them in this pot. I've not separated them. And um, <clears throat> it's laziness on my part. And they've been sitting on the windowsill. I don't put it under the grow light. And um, yeah, not very demanding. I don't feed them. Uh, just water. They're in a standard compost, as you can see. Nothing special about that. There's no perlite or anything in there. In fact, I haven't really done an awful lot with it so I feel a bit bad for these plants that are, you know should treat them a bit better because it took me a long time to get them to germinate so yeah so I thought today I would repot them and um, I'm going to take them out and I'll show you um, the roots see what they look like so I'll pause the camera for a minute because I don't want to get soil everywhere Right, so coming a bit closer, so the roots are not bad, you know, I wouldn't say they're huge, um, they look very fine, sort of delicate roots, so I'm not going to sort of, um, you know, uh, hopefully not damage them. I'm only going to put them in two separate pots, I'm not putting them into four. Um, last time I separated some cherimoya plants and it didn't go well you know they died very soon after i repotted them so i am going to be extra careful in separate so i'm going to have two per pot so i've got two of these pots normal compost in there grow sure i'll probably add a little bit of that wilco fertilizer on the top as a top dressing but nothing else i'm not going to add any more um you know i'm not going to add any sort of sand or other you know um, nutrients into the soil just keep it simple so i'm going to carefully separate these i'll do that off camera because i might get you know might make a mess here right so out of the compost quite a bit of compost in there i hoped i could keep some of the soil on but it just it just came away so these are what they look like the roots are healthy you know a decent root ball on them um and so i'm going to pop these up i'm going to put these two larger ones together let's say i'm not adding anything special in there 
and what I will do is take out some of the compost as there's too much in because I want to bury it a little bit deeper so get that in there and hopefully it won't be too stressful so I'm going to pause the camera yet again right so repotted so two to a pot so they've got twice as much space as they had before I didn't want to separate them entirely into singular pots um, at this stage because you can get they can get into transplant shock you know so I don't want to waste too much compost on singular plants and then find that the the um, the drop dead but hopefully that will not happen I've added some uh, big bowls just to collect the water because I've watered them in and I've added some of this granular fertilizer Wilco brand and you can see the little granules on the top there. I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera. So hopefully these will have a bit of a growth spurt now. I mean, they haven't been doing too badly. It, it's just down to, I think, the pot size. You know, they've not had enough room to sort of branch out. So if you want to see a bigger, healthier plant than mine, um, a fellow YouTuber, his um, channel is called Shams Gardening and Crafts. I'll see if I can put the video uh, or his channel up here. I gave him some seeds from that fruit back in 2021 and his plant has grown really well. Um, I, I'm not sure how many of his, uh, well, how many plants he's got, but I, I did send him some seeds and obviously successfully had a lovely healthy plant. So do check out what the plant size should be. Um, 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 you know hopefully mine will catch up and talking about seeds I was got rooting through the seed tin the other day I've got two seed containers and I came across some sarasop seeds yay I found these um, and I know these are sarasop because these are brown in colour <clears throat> the sarasop seeds are different from the cherimoya although they look similar inside the fruit looks very similar the seeds are different and they're sort of flat and and brown and say that soursop that i got had tons of seeds in it i did take some to bangladesh last year and gave them to a cousin who popped them in the ground in his back garden and up they popped within a, a few weeks of planting them I, i'm not sure how they are doing now but I'll see if i can find a picture of when they first uh, popped up and I'll put them up here so see you know soursop growing in Bangladesh it's not common maybe one or two people have got soursops from uh, nurseries but they aren't common in Bangladesh I'd say they, these are originally from South America um, and the Caribbean so I've got the seeds soaking and I thought well two-year-old seeds let's see what what can happen and I thought well I'll help them along a little bit. I'll, I'll let them soak. Um, this this is water with something added. Um, I've been doing some reading up on hard to germinate seeds because I'm having a bit of difficulty with some seeds getting them to uh, germinate. So, so the, some of these are tropical fruit seeds mainly, you know, they're very, very hard to germinate. So I've added something to this solution. Let's see what happens. Also, you need to prepare these seeds because they're very tough. The seed coat is very hard. And when those, when these germinated, these soursop, when these were germinating, as they popped up, the seed was still attached to the top and it wouldn't fall off. And some of them I had to gently sort of spray and soften up the seed so that it would fall off. So I lost quite a few plants, so there was probably a dozen that had popped up, but all of them had the seeds attached and some of them wouldn't shed the seed coat at all. And so that's a difficulty. Uh, you need high humidity for these to uh, germinate. So in a propagator, plenty of heat at the bottom, lots of humidity and light. And what I've been doing with those seeds there, 
with these apart from soaking I've been using a nail clipper let me put this to one side there and at the top of the seed is a little the little hole like, like at the pointy part and that's where I clip it's just to allow um, moisture or water to get to the inner part because it is very very hard this seed coat so clip off a little bit at the top and then pop it in pop it in there and see if there's a I've, not, I've done I've done most of these seeds I think one or two still need to be done I'll do this one let's try and do it a little bit close up Okay. Hopefully these seeds will be viable. One of them uh, that I did clip was very brown. There was no sign of white at all. So when you see a little bit of white showing, you don't want to sort of pull off the seed coat entirely. Um, keep it soaking. So I'm going to keep these soaking for probably three or four days. And then I'll get these into a propagator. And of course, I will do an update um, if there's any germination and any progress, you know, if we can get these to grow into little seedlings. So that's it for today. If anybody else is growing soursop in a container, let me know what kind of conditions you've got yours in, uh, what works, you know, what's working for you. I've got mine sitting on this southeast facing window uh, i don't put it under grow lights in the evening i just it stays there so it's getting normal day length hours that we have in the uk and um, nothing special in the compost but i would like to hear from you the viewers um, if you've got any tips on how you how to get yours healthier growing faster etc Thanks very much for watching everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.